in this tutorial we're going to discuss just a few things that you're going to see in the Word Module 3 projects. One of the first things you're going to come across is changing the margins. So um, up here on your layout tab, um, you'll want to click there. You're going to want to click margins and then go ahead and select whatever uh, margin set it has you to do. Um, we'll actually change this to narrow for this project. Um, Another thing you're going to see is actually changing the theme. So you're going to want to go to the design tab. Now in a previous lesson we went ahead and we changed the colors, but for this one it actually wants you to change the theme. Um, it'll tell you which one you need to do. We'll do banded just for that. Notice how some of my colors changed here. Um, it, the theme will definitely change some of the fonts and colors. So um, it's a cool way to keep uniformity within a project. Something else you're going to have to do is insert a shape. Now that's on the insert tab and you have the shapes here under the illustrations group and I don't know what it's going to tell you to do. We'll just do this square. Now remember that anytime it tells you to do something and you're not sure, hover. So if it's this one, you click that. If you're not sure, hover. But we'll go ahead and draw our shape and uh, some of the things you'll need to do is to change the size which anytime you have a picture a shape smart art um, a table you're going to get special tabs at the top uh, just for that selected object so for here we have we can change the height to one we could change the size to five um, all of those things which are pretty cool um, you have your uh, theme styles here if you needed to change this to subtle effect bright green accent 3 you could do that you could do um, an outline here with weight and all kinds of different things um, and then something else you're going to need to know for this project is how to add text this is not difficult all you want to do is right click the object and click add text and then you can type in whatever you want now with that you're probably going to uh, end up having to change the font size so you could do that and make it bold you could actually change the font color if you wanted to um, all of those are there for you and then something else that you're going to need to do is to um, change the position change the text wrapping so um, with the object selected you could select uh, we'll do top and center and notice it moved it up here. Something else that you're going to want to need to know is the text wrapping. Now, um, notice how as I go through, the text kind of wraps itself around it. I think for this one, you're actually going to use top and bottom. So uh, I gave you that. Now, um, notice that when I try and click and drag this picture, it won't do that. And that's because I did not change the text wrapping settings. So if you wanted to change the text wrapping settings, here's another way to do it. You can click this layout box and just click this um, if you didn't want to come all the way up here and do that. For this, you're going to have to change some of the settings on a photo. Now, we've manually keyed in the height and the width of, of, of pictures before and shapes. But for this one, it's going to ask you to do a percentage. And so if we click the size dialog box and down here, um, it might have you put 40%. Make sure you hit tab, and because this is checked, it automatically adjusts this as well. And notice it shrinks that image. Something else that you'll need to do with the picture is actually change the color. And so we're going to click this color, and we'll add this blue text color, dark blue. And that will change the color. Again, uh, you could add a border if you needed to. We could add this green and make it, I don't know, real heavy so that you can see it and again if you do not have your text wrapping setting here you're not going to be able to move it anywhere you want like I can now so make sure you do that something else you're going to need to do is insert a symbol that's going to be on the insert tab and it's going to be all the way to your right under symbol and we'll click more symbols up here you're going to need to change your font um, I think for this you're going to have to change it to the symbols font uh, if I could find it and then it's going to give you some code uh, we'll do 45 for this one and it gives me this right here so we'll go ahead and insert that I double clicked you could click insert um, and notice that put that here um, inserting symbols not too bad uh, another thing you're going to need to do is remove a URL. So for this one, uh, we'll go ahead and put 
a website, the best uh, team in the NFL. I know most of you are laughing at me, but that's okay. From here, I have this web link, and it created it for me when I hit return. I want to remove this hyperlink, so all I need to do is right-click on this text and then click Remove Hyperlink, and it's no longer a link. It's just text. For something like this, it's going to have me insert a bottom border, and in order to do that, I want to go back to the Home group. So I'm on the Home group tab, and then you know this little thing right here? We're going to click that, and we could do left and see how it, it puts it in. But you want to make sure you select the one that it tells you to do. One of the hardest things you're going to do on this project is called a left tab stop. Now I'm going to click in this line. Notice that up here you have this little uh, um, corner. And there are a lot of ways I can set this. If I wanted to, I could because it's automatically set on the left tab stop. Just click up here and set it if I wanted to do six and I could hit tab again and notice it drops it over to here but um, that's one way to do it just click in that uh, in that ruler and click it now if you don't have this you're gonna want to go to view and then click the ruler so that it appears the other way to do it is make sure you're in the line that you need to be open up the paragraph dialog box and then we're gonna go ahead and click tabs up here you're gonna go ahead and we'll do four and I'm going to click enter and notice that it went ahead and put that in now if I click here and click tab notice it pushes it all over but for this one that's not what I want I actually just want the fall 2015 and notice it only puts that text and what I'm hitting is the tab key on my keyboard to push that over something else you're going to want to do is insert a table now there will be one already there and then you're going to have to insert one so we're um, going to go ahead and show you how to insert a table. We're going to go to the insert tab and on the insert tab we're going to click table. Now it might tell you 3x4 or 3x3 uh, three three. whatever it tells you to do you're going to want to select that and then you're going to key in some things and I'm clicking you could tab to tab over again tab um, it's going to have you merge one of the the rows, so you want to select the three rows, and from here you want to go to the layout tab, and then you're going to want to click merge cells. And notice that this is now all one. Um, another thing it's going to have you do is center this line, so you go back to the home tab and click center. There are other ways to do that, not just what I told you. You can change the font if you wanted to change it to this and then increase your font you can change your font size make it bold you can do all those crazy things um, with this table selected if you select this right here you'll select the entire table um, go back to the layout tab and then something you're gonna have to do is the uh, fit contents it might be window or width um, for this we'll just click that notice it shrunk it all together um, another thing you'll want to note is go ahead and select this table again and we can actually center the entire uh, table by going back to the home tab and clicking center just like you would text and that will go ahead and center that and then finally you're going to want to change the the color uh, to this table so with this table still selected we're going to go to the design tab and then you have all of your table styles here and um, let's just do this. If you're not sure, again, hover. Um, this one says gr grid table four accent three. We'll go ahead and select that. It did default uh, or change the, the position back over to the left. So we'll go ahead and recenter that. Make sure you pay attention to that if you jumble up the steps. But all of that should help you for this project.